Welcome everyone, the Google Group fans. We are here again at the Paris Motor Show. And now we're here with Infinity because here we got the most stunning concept of the Motor Show probably, the Infinity Q80. And our interview partner here is Francois Bacon. He's Vice President Strategy at Infinity. And we want to talk about especially this car and also about the whole strategy of Infinity. So what are you planning exactly with this car? So this car is a new entering for Infinity in uh, probably what is the most demanding uh, segment in the premium category, kind of upper end position. Uh, we thought it was time for Infinity uh, to go there. As you know, we grow the brand from many cars. We have the Q50, the Q70, QX70, many products from, uh, from let's say, the D to the E segment, uh, as we say. Uh, we're gonna launch next year a more compact car, which is a common development with Daimler. And uh, we thought it was time for us to generate something inspirational for the brand. It didn't make sense to make this five years ago, but now it's the right time, and we come up with this idea. So, what is a QAT inspiration? Uh, it's an upper end order, so uh, you can expect the best of technology. And, uh, and performance because this is a world of the game in a category but in a very different way. What you have in a segment today, basically for the German uh, premium maker, uh, is somehow, somehow, I say somehow, conventional uh, purpose. Which makes sense in the category, people are not uh, expecting something so much different. But part of this audience that we target uh, as Infinity and probably the German don't target, want something different. They want something that tells more about who they are, uh, this kind of self confidence they have, and uh, probably a different personality uh, when it comes to car. And, and this is uh, uh, the proposal we are doing here. So, basically, just a little bit of a story about the, the performance and uh, specification of this car. This is a big car more than 5 meters long, uh, more than 2 meters wide, so something with a huge presence on the, on the, on the road. <coughs> this is a brand new platform, real world wide, but all real wide platform, brand new for Infinity, specifically developed for Infinity. A new generation of powertrain, 570 horsepower, significant power, we can say, uh, that we get from uh, a new V6 engine generation, 3 litre twin turbo uh, direct injection powertrain, together with uh, what we call an electric booster, some kind of hybrid, uh, that deliver about 100 kilowatt more in addition to this. So that, that's the story. On top of this kind of uh, very hardware driven uh, uh, specification, we're going to redefine what, uh, what we call the human interface, uh, basically following the idea that uh, Infinity is about simplicity. Infinity is about making things easier. Uh, when you see what happened in the industry, every time we add feature, function, connection, we just add complexity and honestly we make people lost especially women, uh, for some reason, because women are smarter than men. Uh, so we have to redefine this. What is the, 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 the connectivity interface of the future? This is not the final uh, uh, proposal, but it's a first step uh, toward a different direction. And, and basically, that, that's the story. On top of this, 
we didn't intend to make a five-seater saloon comfortable thing. The people we address are very individual, a little bit of egoistic somehow. Uh, so we made a concept which is one plus one plus one plus one. Well, each of the four people and more have their own uh, kind of uh, territory. At the same time, the capability to share within the car. So basically, you have the driver activity because somebody must drive. Uh, and, and, uh, and this uh, uh, opportunity to have the, the, your own entertainment system, which has nothing to do with the driving information, because if your passenger on the front and on the back, you're not so much interested by the speed or whatever. You're not driving. What, so, what I wonder is, um, I, like in a lot of markets, these kind of cars are decreasing in sales figures. And um, for example, the Opel CEO, he just said, like the time for the big cars is over. Um, why coming now with this kind of big car instead maybe showing a smaller one to like to fit also environmental needs? Yeah, but we, we're gonna have the smaller one next year. <laughs> we are not forgetting this segment, believe me. Okay, but uh, will this really go on no, sale? No, I mean, this segment is not declining, let me correct. Okay. It's, it's a stable segment, it's not growing, but it's very stable. For 20 years, this segment didn't change. The number are the same. What is changing in a segment, you have new people entering in this category who are not very happy with the current offering. Basically, just to make it simple, you have the, the kind of S-Class 7 series, average age of the, of the user, 65, 70 years old. But that's the rule of the game in a high price band. And you have some new generation, especially in China, 35, 36 years old people who want to go there because they can afford it, but they are not interested by the current offering. This is for them. Okay, um, maybe we can take a look at the exterior first now in, uh, in detail. What is the crucial factor about the exterior in your opinion? And maybe you can show yeah. us directly at the car. Well, basically the big deal, beyond the design execution itself, which gives you some hints, some direction about what we're going to do in the future for Infinity. More fluid, more simple, more, let's say, organized structure regarding the, the styling itself. And you can see this, the shoulder communicating this kind of sense of power and stability that the people are expecting from this kind of car. That, that, that's the first big land, big wheel, well, this is the business as usual somehow. Uh, on, the, uh, on the, 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 the key, let's say, new thing that we, we provide to the category are about the stance and proportion. Five meter long, more than two meter wide, and very low uh, uh, height uh, for this car. Uh, the symmetrical structure here in the front? Yeah, well, this is a new, uh, not almost new uh, front expression for the radiator grill. It's our new direction for all the product of Infinity. Actually, this is not a revolution, this is a continuity uh, uh, about, uh, from what we have on the Q50. Uh, just a little bit more uh, structural, more visible, more readable, I should say. Because sometimes you see the front face, it looks like mm, not so different from... So we want to kind of emphasize the way we design the front face, which, as you know, is the first thing people notice in a car. So the front face related to the human uh, how, how close is this actually to, uh, to a serial production? I mean, you often see concept cars and nothing comes out of it, but lately, I mean, for example, if you think of a Range Rover Evoque or something that worked, that the concept was also transported into serial production. Yeah. Uh, what's your um, projection on this one? I mean, first in Infinity, when we display a concept car, we are not making the styling exercise. We usually provide, uh, do this make it real in the market very soon. Q30 is a good example. We did display the concept. You're going to have the same industry next year. On this, it's a little bit more tricky because there are a lot of development to do, a new platform, blah, blah, blah. Uh, The target, as a target, okay, uh, is about 75-80% uh, uh, similarity with this execution. Not tell you we're going to go for the kind of antagonist door okay. opening just because it doesn't provide any benefit for the normal people yes. it provides a benefit at the concept we have car. to um, open the front door to open the back door right like in bmw I yeah think. Yes. Same, yes. same technology yes. but i'm not sure we have to go there uh, for the for the daily life usage is not that easy 
It just makes sense in, as a concept car because you can see the overall interior at a glance. That, that's the reason why we did it. But 80% is a target. Okay, will we get the, 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 the glass roof? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's, not a, it's not a big deal. We, okay. we already have this in some of the car. I'm not sure we're going to keep the old glass roof. Uh, uh, not, not that we can't do it, but in some very hot country, the glass roof might not okay. be the appropriate answer. Okay. Can you, uh, can you show us the interior? Yeah. You can go around. Just a moment. Starting from the front, it's a driving uh, posture uh, cockpit, let's say, because Infinity is about drive. And uh, we, don't, we we're not change this. Uh, we, we do car for people who love to drive. So they have to be capable to extend the drive. On the other seat, it's more individual, more cocooned, more, let's say, focused somehow, comfort, but independence. You can share your own way, not everything equal all around. Uh, you are an individual, you have your own uh, center of interest and, uh, and desire. We are respecting this. And you can see this in the design of the seat, which is exclusive to Infinity. Uh, it's a kind of yeah, premium interior, of course, uh, but with a sense of community in the car. This is not because you are an individual, that you are not close to there, not isolate, not uh, lock in, uh, in your space. That, that's what we can say. The, the, the other part is the instrumentation, very difficult to see in the, in the concept car. You have a configurable display here for the drive, only for the drive. The minimum information that you need to drive, speed, all of this. The head-up display, which is not visible here because it's so, uh, is independent from the passenger and the driver. Each of them have the head-up display, so a virtual imagery, somehow, in, in the windshield. Uh, of course, the driver one our more navigation, uh, a warning, uh, all of this. When the other side is totally independent, it's an entertainment uh, display, so you can uh, connect your iPhone, whatever you want to do. Okay, there's um, also always this uh, dilemma between um, what can the driver do? For example, in the new Audi TT virtual cockpit, he can yeah. read Facebook, and I think that's totally no, dangerous. We don't do this. And uh, is it here possible that like the co-driver can do something with emails, and the driver yeah. still concentrates the, on driving? The uh, assist and, and the rear passenger can do whatever they do, let's say. Uh, 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 How can I say? From the cloud, internet connection, all what you can do, Facebook if you want, mail, uh, internet, whatever. For the driver, we are on purpose restricting the, the possibility. It's about time. Except when the car is parked, which is another story. But in general, the, the information is related to the driver. I mean, the driver write an email while driving in a high performance car might not be the best things to do, and on purpose we, we separate. So there is a driver and the other. Okay, maybe it's the last question. What about the price? Can you say anything about like, okay, you won't say a number, of course, but will it be like in the same region as uh, BMW 7 Series or S-Class, or will it be like possibly higher or lower? No, uh, higher, no. Uh, lower probably not, uh, not because we, we can't do it, But this is a, a brand uh, expression, so uh, pricing-wise, we're going to stick to the, let's say, the market, uh, the, the market price, plus minus something, of course, uh, as always. But we don't intend to make a cheap car. We don't intend neither to make a very expensive car. So yeah, good example. Actually, the the the, the, the price on the market are dictated by our best friend in Germany. So there is nothing we can do on this. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.